Remember earlier I told you we have all kinds of dignitaries here. We also told you that we had the ride that starts in Sedona. Scott Dablo, I know you're in the audience. If you would please stand and come forward. I appreciate it. There he is, Scott, Mayor of Sedona. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, I haven't looked at the time. Uh, I'm not here as the mayor today. Uh, I don't want you to think it's a, a dignitary speech. I'm here to recognize somebody that we had as a volunteer in Sedona for the past 10 years. So I understand Ed Uzemeskis is here in the audience. He's over there. Stand up. Come over. Ed is a very special veteran. You're all special in your own way, but Ed's been spending basically his whole adult life helping other veterans. And for the past 10 years, he's done that in the city of Sedona. Thank you. So, So just so that you, for those that don't know, a few weeks ago, the Sedona City Council recognized Ed for 10 years of providing a consulting information and uh, helping with benefits for veterans. Over 2,000 veterans and his families he's helped in the past 10 years. I can't think of a man more giving of his life than to give back so much to people and, and veterans and your families. So we gave Ed a beautiful plaque statue, but we also read a little passage of the, the history in Sedona. I'd like to read that for you today. 10 years ago, then city manager Tim Ernster saw a need in our city for someone to assist veterans with some serious issues. Tim sought the help of Dr. Edward Uzumeskis, because who better to help veterans than a disabled veteran himself? For over 10 years, Ed unselfishly volunteered his time at City Hall assisting veterans with disability issues. From filling out complicated medical forms to, fill, to filing for disability benefits related to Agent Orange. Ed assisted with filing survivor benefits for widows and widowers of deceased veterans. Ed assisted victims of military sexual trauma suffering from PTSD. While Ed had an office in community development, his dedicated service wasn't just to veterans in Sedona, but the entire Verde Valley and even to veterans across the country. I'd like you to give a round of applause for Ed, because this man alone has helped so many, many people. could be more proud of Ed, and I, I want him to be recognized today in such a fabulous event. So Ed, if you want to say just a quick few words, uh, if you can keep this as well as the, the statue we gave you. The quick few words, where's Sheila? <laughs> Stand up please and come up here. So I've been acknowledged by the city, by veterans, everything in the last few days. What I neglected to do, Sheila took over this event about three years ago. And so I want to acknowledge Sheila Stubler because what you see here is the result of her leadership. And especially since this was what we decided that after this, each city on its own, if they want to do something, they can. But as a communal celebration of Vietnam veterans and other veterans, this was the last one. So Sheila, you've done a great job. And I know in talking to you, there were struggles and uh, issues in the way. 
each and conquered them all. So thank you very much. By the way, he didn't know that this was happening today. So it caught him a little by surprise. And I'm just going to jump in here and say you don't do it by yourself. Like that ranger that's walking right up here that doesn't know I'm going to point at her. Her name is Deb, if you can raise your hand. She's been my right hand. And then we've also got...